got the bike and the black boar. We've got some winter wheat, some lime, some fertilizer, and we've got seed by domain, showstopper, and no BS. It's been a lot of talk on some different social medias about food highways and corridors and logging roads and things but I chose this as my food highway this is gonna be a strip of no BS from domain and then I have a screen then I have a two acre field that is all screened in some of you that are constant watchers may know this from last year as pasture to plot. I'm going to do some disking right here. Put some no BS in there. First I'm going to hit it with some little extra lime, a little extra fertilizer. Get it all started up nice. And uh, this here field was the six foot high winter wheat that I left in from last year. So what I did is I came in and I chopped it with the brush hog three different levels, mulched it all down, come over with the discs, disked it all in. And this is all volunteer winter wheat and rye. There was a little bit of rye with it. This is all volunteer winter wheat and rye. So today, hitting it with some showstopper, a little bit of more winter rye to fill in. And, uh, Stick with me, I'll show you what I'm about to do. That's one pass with the blackboard discs on the back of the ATV. Loosened it up nice. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of lime, a little bit of fertilizer, and uh, I'll drag it all in. Okay, so I've got all the fertilizer and lime on. And I'm gonna give this all a rough drag with the, with the chain harrow. I'm gonna rough it all up. I'm gonna seed it, and I'm gonna go get the lawn roller and pack it all in. Got the food highway here, all drug out and smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and seed it and roll it. So that everybody is your food highway, no BS. Got it all flattened out, ran it all down with a uh, lawn roller. All the seeds packed in tight. And look, judging by the skies, I don't know, there might be a pop-up shower coming. We'll see. But out of fuel for the night. I'm gonna come back and hit this two acres tomorrow so that to be continued. Okay, so back for day number two on the big plot. Why, the other day ran out of some daylight, ran out of nice weather, it started to rain, ran out of fuel, about everything that could go wrong went wrong. So, how you like that shirt? Pretty nice. Got the green killing hat on. I gotta get used to wearing that for all the photos this fall. You know how it is. But yeah, here tonight. Brought the quad with the drag chain here. I'm gonna go around and rough this all up. And we're gonna go ahead and spread showstopper. Showstopper for you folks that don't know. The main outdoor. There it is. Showstopper. Rutabaga hybrid forage brassica turnip rapeseed. That's what's going in here. Stay tuned. Oh yeah. We got our tour up now. Check her out. 
Got it all scuffed up. It's ready for a showstopper. There, check out. Remember the corn I planted? Corn took off. Yeah. The screen's taken off. The screen's over five foot tall up there. Yeah, we're gonna sling some seed and then we're gonna pack her in. Okay, spun out all the showstopper. <clears throat> I am sweating my tuchus off. Uh, maybe not, but you know what I'm talking about. Whew, I covered every inch of this field. I went lengthwise, widthwise. I found things I didn't even know I lost. Bucket handles, horse halters, horse shoes. I think I just found five pounds that I lost. But yeah, let's answer a few questions. Okay. Up there, I've got screening that's over six foot tall. And you ask, Chris, why is this screening only a foot and a half? Well, because I was going to put sorghum in there so that possibly it didn't grow as high as the Egyptian wheat. <clears throat> because I plan on getting in trees over here and shooting out into the field at deer. Now, the thought was nice. Someone gave me some sorghum. Did a germination test on it. It was all bad. The stuff did not germinate at all. So what I did is I waited three weeks, almost four weeks. And I came back in and planted this Egyptian wheat in hopes that it wouldn't be so sky high that I wouldn't be able to shoot over it. So that was the thought process behind that. We'll see how that pans out. Another question we can answer is, man, you're loaded up with ragweed. How come you didn't eliminate all that ragweed in there? Well, ragweed is very, very high in protein and nutritional value. Higher than some clovers. It's like a free food plot to me. I don't worry about it as long as it's not taking something over and uh, smothering it. Now, it may slow down corn production. It may slow down Egyptian wheat a little bit. It might be stealing a little bit from it, but I'm willing to share. I've got five and six foot tall Egyptian wheat now. How tall do you really need it? I'm not over six feet as long as you can see this way, there's a road over there. So the main intent was to make these deer feel safe and to barricade away from that road from spotlighting or any other activities, let's say. Eliminate anybody's thinking process there. So there's a few things. Let's go get the roller and finish this bad boy up. Why don't we? Okay, boys and girls, that's a wrap. I took the lawn roller to that after I spread all the showstopper. Flattened it all out, pressed it all in. We had a rain before I started today, so there's plenty of ground moisture. So we should get germination here in a couple of days. So any questions on what I did, how I did it? Or anything about the seed this company is called domain drop a comment down below tell me what you're doing this fall in your plot let me know what what you've got planned what you're planting how you're doing it leave a comment see ya